<sighs> okay, so it's time to make my first review of the month of Love and Heartbreak 2. So what do we have first? Oh, fuck! Uh, hey everybody, Star Six Wars 1 here, and welcome to the month of love and heartbreak 2. For this one, we are going to take a look at the infamous School Days, which is an adaptation of the visual novel of the same name. The anime is widely considered to be one of the worst anime of all time, and a lot of people hate it, most famously G.R. Arcada. Am I one of those people, or is the series overhated? Well, let's find out. First up, the story. The story starts with our main character, Makoto, taking the train to school when he spots a girl that takes the same train as he does named Kotonoha, a fellow student at his school. He becomes infatuated with Kotonoha and keeps a picture of her on his cell phone as a charm. Until fellow student Sekai spots the picture and decides to took the two of them up while having feelings for Makoto herself. From there, it goes from a simple love story to a love triangle to eventually become what some people call a deconstruction of the harem genre. I personally do not agree that with it being an intentional deconstruction, but that's besides the point. I find that the story actually has a lot of good ideas, but some of them are really poorly executed. I find characters make really stupid decisions for the sake of plot, and the drama feels so forced and unnatural that it's more funny than dramatic, and when it's not being a dramatic, it's kind of dull. Then comes the ending, which is the best part of the show. It feels so satisfying and is executed in such a way that it's great. Overall, the story is a train wreck, but I won't deny I had some fun with it. Next up are the characters. I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is one of the most detestable character casts I've ever encountered, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's look at the dumb asshole of a main character that is Makoto. Even before he slept with everyone, he was an ass. And when he wasn't being one, he was just so dull and uninteresting. But I actually find he gets worse as time goes on. And by the end, he deserves the nickname Picklecock. Because of that, he is one of the most despicable main characters I've seen yet. Then you have Sekai, who is, in my opinion, almost as bad as Makoto. She may seem like a spunky, fun character at first, but in truth is a manipulative bitch who only cares about being with Makoto, even though she set up Kotonoha and Makoto. Hey, Sekai, here's an idea. Don't set them up! If you wanted Makoto, just date him, instead of trying to set him up with another girl. What was going through your head when you thought of that? <sighs> Sekai bugs me for so many reasons. In contrast, we have Kotonaha. She is probably considered the most sympathetic character of the series by many. So is it wrong me to say I don't really like her that much? Okay, hear me out. Compared to the other two I mentioned, she is infinitely more likable. However, I found her so dull and so devoted to Makoto to so many stupid levels that I found her increasingly annoying as the show went on. And by the show's end, she just gave a bad vibe to me. Again, she's more likable than Makoto and Sekai, but I don't really like her much more than them. The rest of the cast isn't much better and at times actually worse. All of them are manipulative, assholes, dumbasses, one note, or all of the above. There is no character I like from School Days at all. Not our main characters or our side characters. I mean, at least with Ava, I found one or two characters I liked. Here, there isn't even one. But overall, it's just a 
detestable character cast. The animation was done by a studio called TNK, who made such titles as My Santa and one of the seasons of Iggy Tosin. Oh, and High School DxD. Honestly, the animation looks pretty bad. The background looks bland and lifeless, but then you get the character design. To put it bluntly, it looks awful. Character movements look so stiff. Everyone has bow and arrow side faces. Don't believe me? I will draw it for you. It looks so bad. And the further away you are from the characters, the more of a like a blob they become. And it looks so unpolished. The anime was made in 2007. And I can say that anime of the 90s looks better than the animation here. Hell, I've seen anime from the 80s that look better. I'm actually impressed of how terrible it looks. So overall, just no. And finally, we have the music. Honestly, the OST is pretty forgettable. Excluding Kanashimi no Mioke. There isn't any track I remember. It's so dull and generic that I often forgot music was playing half the time. So overall, the OST is pretty lackluster. The ending theme is also forgettable and generic, so I'd skip it. The opening is generic as well, but compared to the rest of the music, was decent enough to remember, and I don't hate it, so that was something at least. There is no dub for school days, and that's probably for the better, as I think a dub may have only made the show worse. Not that I think the sub is great, but it could have been worse. Overall, the sound department is very forgettable for the most part. Now, School Days is a bad anime. The characters are detestable, the animation is garbage, the music's forgettable, and the story is a bit of a train wreck. So yes, School Days is a bad anime. However, I actually like School Days. It has a lot of moments I actually liked, not just the ending, and gave me quite a few laughs, even if it was for all the wrong reasons. It's not a good anime by any means, but I do somewhat enjoy it. I give School Days a 4 out of 10. I expected to hate School Days, but for some reason, I actually liked it. I find it a very unique anime, though not necessarily a good one. I do recommend seeing it once, even if you end up hating it. And understandably so though that's up for you to decide. Anyways, that's all from me. This has been Star Six Wars 1, and I will see you guys next time.